Lesson 4.10, uh, the review packets videos, and uh, problem number nine, it says Tyrell needs to call a plumber. Uh, Roto Plum charges $75 for the first half hour of work and 30 for each additional half hour. Just Plumbing charges, Just Plumbing, that's another company, charges uh, $45 for the job takes uh, for, for every half hour of the work okay um, so let's find out so first of all Roto Plum uh, is $75 so let's make some tables you know table is a nice tool to figure that out so on the left side we have number of hours and on the right side we have um, the dollars okay uh, we have number of hours and number of hours could be 0 and 0 0.5 and 1 and 1.5 and 2 and so on and so forth and the uh, roto plum he says it charges $75 for first half hour so first half hour it's $75 if it's no hour it's 0 I guess and then from that time on, you just keep adding thirty dollars. So the one for one hour, you get one one hundred five dollars. Next one, you add thirty to it, uh, and then one sixty five for two hours. How about uh, just plumbing? Um, let's make a table again similar table so we have number of hours and the right side is dollars and we got the same left column which is zero and whoops alright zero and 0 0.5 1 and 1 1.5 and 2 so this company charges $45 flat so first half hours well, first zero hours zero. First half hour is forty-five. Just keep adding forty-five dollars. So that's pretty simple. Um, now, for problem A, part A says how much, uh, uh, which plumbing company should Terrell choose if the job takes the given amount of time? So if it's only one hour, which one you should choose? Compare those two. For part B, what if it's six hours? You can extend the table um, to find out. And uh, part C, for what time will both companies charge the same amount? Well, we already have some hints over here, so I don't want to go over too much. Uh, part B, standardized test prep. Each uh, DVD club offers some DVDs for free, then charge the blah, blah, blah. Uh, actually charge the fixed price for other DVDs. If you join Club 1, you receive four free DVDs. You must purchase at least four DVDs at the club price. The club price for each DVD is $11.99. If you join another club, you receive five free DVDs, and you must purchase at least four DVDs at the uh, club price. The club price for each DVD is $13.99. Part A. Your plant to get the total nine DVDs including the free DVDs. What will the total cost with the club A1 uh, and club B? So let's make a similar uh, tables right here, comparing those two. Um, so club one and club two. Um, so you can get four DVDs free for Club One, but you have to buy in order to buy nine DVDs. That means you you can have four free DVDs. That means you have to buy five DVDs with the price of eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. So you got to do you got to buy five DVDs by yourself. So it's eleven dollars and ninety nine cents, which is about twelve. Uh, it's 60 and it's a five cents short so five times 
should be equal to $59.95, right? For Cloud B, uh, on the other hand, uh, you can get the five free DVDs. And if you want to buy nine DVDs, that means uh, you have to buy four DVD by yourself with the price of $13.99. So that's $13.99 is about 14. So that 14 times 4 is 56. And uh, 4 cents short. So that should be if 4 times $13.99 should be equal to 55 and 96 cents. Right? So which one is better? And part B, copy and complete the table, and then you get some data and draw a graph on, on this one and compare two offers, explain which is the most economical. Um, this is very typical questions. I've seen that many similar questions in MCAS and SAT. So let's master it. Problem number 11, A, use substitution to find the intersection point of the graph. Okay, let's, uh, so we've got y equals 5 minus 3x, and we have y plus 3x equals 1. So now we know that that y we know we got that. That's the first one. We know this y is the same as this one. And that y is the same as this one. So we are talking about the same y. So let me just replace that. So that y over here, we can replace with uh, 5x minus 3, 5, mi 5 minus 3x. So that y this y is the same as this thing. That means this y is the same as that thing. Well, let's just use parentheses and right there. And then what we get is if you remove the parentheses, we don't have any numbers. And that means we have uh, one in front of it, and one times whatever is whatever. So we get that. Now this is really easy. We know negative 3x minus 3x is 0, so we got 5 minus 1, 5 equals 1, which is not true. That means we have no solution. Oh, I solved part A. Oh shoot, I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to give you the, the, the hint, but fuck you. Thank you for watching. Alright, how about number 13? Well, you got to do part B. Graph each equations. You know how to e graph e equations? You get that number. All right? I'm not going to give you example this time. That's part B. So you get that. So you plug in. In order to graph those, you got to uh, find two points. What if x equals uh, 0? Then y minus 5y will be 3 times 0, which will be 2. So the equation will be no, not equation. Uh, the coordinate will be 0, comma 2. You can plot the points right there. Um, okay. Now it's working. It's right there. That's not what I want. I want blue. Oops. So we want 0, 2, that's right here. Right? Now we're going to have to find another point, which is uh, let's choose, instead of 0, let's choose x equals 1. Then this will be 1. And y will be 2. What am I doing? Right here. I'm sorry. I made a mistake right there. So that's 0, so y should be 5. Sorry about that. So we have 0, 5. And then we should have 1 and 2. So forget about that point right there. 
forget about this point. We've got zero five, so one, two, three, four, five, right there. And then we have one and two right there. So you can draw a line. You see it goes three down and one up, so you just simply you can find the uh, other points. Right there, yeah, right there. Okay. So you you do the the same thing for this equation and, and draw the and uh, sketch the graph and you'll see the you see why there is no solution in another another one. Uh, last problem of video this video is this what is the solution to each system of equation if there is no uh, not any solution explain so you do the same thing right um, so let me do part a so we have y equals 18x minus 30 and we have y equals 17.5 x plus 12. Don't freak out with the decimals. And what you do, what you have to do, is the same. So we know that this y is the same as this y, which is the same as this y. So we can substitute uh, so let's take this guy and you plug that in, now you got that and you know how to solve this equation. So good luck.